Hey everybody, it's Timmy PTG, and as we left last, last left off, I was in bed, and now I'm waking up, I'm like, hey, where am I? And, uh, so, here we are. I'll just talk to this chick. Oh, thank goodness you've awakened. Master Smith is here as well. He's come to see His Majesty the King. Okay, well, guess, okay, whatever. Oh, crap. What's going on here? Oh, Timmy, you're awake. Are you feeling alright? Stand up my side. This, the King of Hyrule is about to speak. Okay. It is, uh, it is as you have all heard. A sorcerer named Vati has cursed my fair Zelda and turned her to stone. If we had the sacred Picori blade, we could likely have taken the, broken the curse. But Vati shattered the blade. However, I have not given up hope. What do you want, what do you know about the Picori? Huh? The Picori? Not much beyond what the fairy tales say. It's supposed to be very tiny, if I'm remembering correctly. Yes, the ones from the fairy tales, but the Picori are no mere legend. They most certainly exist. No one outside of the royal family knows the truth about him. The Picori, who forged the sacred blade, live deep within the Minish Woods. They should be able to repair the broken blade and reforge the sword. Oh, what? What? Then we must we must dispatch the soldiers there at once. No, soldiers will not do. The Picori do not show themselves. Our soldiers could f search for days and still find no sign of them. <gasps> I see. If that's the case, then why not send Timmy? If Timmy has recovered, then yes, I shall ask him to do that. Please, turn my precious Zelda back to normal. The Picori should know how to create a new sacred sword. Well, this is not saying blade. Whatever, I'm done with this now. I'm Tim. Hey, I got a broken blade. Oh my god, blade! Ugh, shut up. Oh, there we go. I got something cool. There we go. Now I have a sword. Alright. I don't remember if I mentioned this or not, but this is going to be a, um, three-heart challenge. Uh, it's one of my favorite games, and I've tried to do three-heart challenge on my, uh, on my Game Boy copy, but, uh, but I never got past the final boss because that place, well, I got past the area, I just couldn't get past, uh, the, the boss. I'm not gonna spoil anything. Uh, so yeah. A couple other updates. I just turned 18 a couple weeks ago. Uh, it'll be two, exactly 14 days since I turned 18 on Wednesday. So in two days. So it's been 12 days. Because I can count. Anyways. Um, so yeah. I spent my birthday at, uh, not at home. Sadly. The for the past couple of years, the only thing I've ever asked for for my birth- Whoa, it's- Ah! Uh, it's a cluster crap of stuff happening right there. Alright. Anyways, for the past couple of, uh, of years, all I've asked for my birthday was to be home alone. And both years, I have failed to receive that. But I have gotten money, and, um... And I spent my day at school not doing finals, because we didn't have any finals that day. So, yeah. And now that I have the sword, I can... That was terrible, but my throat kind of hurts from the last uh, segment. But whatever. So now we're here at the Minish Woods. Let's let's see what's going on. Cut you. Ha, ah, you fell in the water. Over here's a piece of heart that we can't get, and we won't be getting. Although I might just get uh, three pieces of heart and just have them there the entire time. Or I might just uh, have a couple extra hearts for fairies, so that I can always... Like, if I die, then it'll be at, a uh, full health due to a fairy. Anyways, we just walk down here. Nothing's happening. Um, the other update is... Oh, wait, I can't do anything right there. Um, that I graduated on Sunday, so I am officially out of high school. I am very happy about that. And help, help me! Ouch, won't somebody stop them? I'll, I'll help somebody, can't anybody hear me? Hey, where'd, where'd that thing go? Oh no, here's the other piece of heart that uh, you can get. It's the first one in the game. Um, I'm gonna ignore it. So, yeah. That way, if I do decide to be like, screw it, I'm not going three heart challenge. I know where all the pieces of hearts are because I wouldn't have gotten any of them. Alright. What? Hey kid, you there! Ow! Hey, don't just stand there, do something. Oh! What's wrong with you? Do you like watching me take those abuse? Yes. Help me! Nah, I'm good. 
Oh, maybe. Alright, shank, shank. Phew! Well done! Shut up, you. Alright, screw you, I'm leaving. No, I said I'm leaving. Le shut up. Leave me alone. I don't care what your name is. Your name is Hat. No, go away. I'll walk as quickly as I want. Go away. I'm a troublemaking boy, because I have a sword. What do you got? Don't make me sneeze. There, now you can't possibly leave me behind. Great. Alright, shut up now. Freaking duck. I mean, I have nothing against ducks, but this one's green. I love green, just not green ducks. Green ducks are annoying. Shut up. Alright, so basically this thing is Ezlo, and uh, he's a hat. And with him, you can stand on stumps and shrink, apparently. So, uh, so yeah. So anyways, graduation. Graduation was uh, on Sunday, like I said, and it was pretty boring, uh, pretty not memorable. All that happened was a couple people did stupid things, and uh, that was my school, basically. And then people did their own thing when they went up and got their leather booklet thing that wasn't even a diploma. So I have to go back on the 21st to get my diploma for my school, which uh, is fun. Anyways, which is so yeah. But whatever, I'm officially graduated, I'm very happy about that, like I said, and uh, one of my goals for summer is to take a class at the community college, see what's going on, see if I like college or not, uh, get used to the college life, because I haven't applied to anywhere, but that might change, and whoa, that's a lot of people. Hello. Hey. Hello. Oh, well, I, I guess I smelled that or something. I mean, I was just rolling around in a, in the dirt and stuff, but whatever. Uh, they probably don't smell too nice eh, either. I mean, where do they live in? Like, friggin', this guy's living in a shoe. I, I, I probably smell a lot better than him. But whatever. So we're gonna go talk to not that guy. We're gonna go talk to... Where is it? Um... Uh... This guy over here. Oh, by the way, piece of heart number two is right over here. Kadonk. I don't know if I'm going to be showing all the pieces of hearts because that requires a lot of work and I don't think I want to do that. Um, I know that I've gotten all the pieces of hearts before and all the uh, heart containers other than the one that you take like three years to get. Anyways, this guy just told us that we have to go get the uh, jabber nut. So, to find that, it's right down here in this uh, barrel here. And I know I smell better than people inside of a barrel, because, I mean, look at this place. It's got, well, it's got flowers, but look at that abomination of nature. Oh, Timmy, this must be something. Shut up, I hate you. You ate the jabber nut while holding it in your hand above yourself. That made sense. Okay, so we're just going up here. And, uh, I had another announcement. What's the other announcement? Oh, yes. The other announcement is... Just kidding, I forgot. Um, <laughs> so I did the, uh, graduation, did my birthday. I don't know, I think that's it. Oh, you speak our language. What, what, what was I speaking before? English? Thank you for your offer, but shut up! Why do you always have to say something? I couldn't just... Hats are meant to be worn. Not heard. I mean, jeez, shut up. Alright, so this guy's like, hey, find an earth element. And you know what? Screw ladders. Ladders are for chumps. Uh, we come back here, and I think in the next episode we will be going into the uh, Deepwood Shrine. Is it Deepwood Shrine? I don't know. Um, or I guess we'll go in it now. Minish Woods. Here's the piece of heart again. I can literally walk inside of it now, but I'm tiny. Um, by the way, if you're small, this will hurt you. Or, well, it'll drown. You'll drown, but you won't be hurt. Anyways, right here is the first dungeon, but we're not going in there. So I'm Timmy PTG, and, uh, thank you for watching.